Limited access to food is a daily reality for thousands of Hoosiers. There's no single solution to this issue. I made a trip to the Johnson County Fairgrounds where people supported an effort all about connecting families with food. This was not your ordinary lunch crowd. Every bag with a meal Thank you. raised money to help someone facing food insecurity. The community event at the Johnson County Fairgrounds drew hundreds. Vicki Lee Masters was the first person in the drive-thru. Why did you want to be first in line? It's fabulous. Why? Supporting our local people, especially the 4-H, and the money stays right here in Johnson County. Behind the scenes, the Indian Creek High School FFA did all the grilling. We cooked 600. All day long, I've been brewing up the whole pork. Is that how much? You got six? Seven. While inside Scott Hall, Malone Catering and more than 60 volunteers prepared meals. Two pulled porks, please. This event is in honor of Jim Rhodes, a former businessman who held the first hog roast back in 1996. 100% of the food is donated, meaning that 100% of the proceeds from this event are split 50-50 between our two cherries, the Good Cheer Fund and the Inner Church Food Pantry. And there's your pulled pork. This is only the second year for the drive through Dining in is back. It was canceled last year for the first time in this event's history in 25 years because of COVID-19. But as you can see, people are back to eating, sitting together, enjoying their meals, and of course, enjoying some holiday music. <music> Becky Martin picked up 20 meals to feed her local doctor's office. This is once a year, and it's for a good cause. Then I want to help. Do you do this every year? Yes. Is the food good? Yes. <laughs> this may happen every year, but no one here takes for granted the reality of people with no food in their apartment or their home, and the hunger to address this issue as a community. It was a great event. More than 800 meals were served. So far, $44,000 was raised, which is more than 4,000 than last year. So that's a good number, and the money is still coming in. All the proceeds will be split among the Inner Church Food Pantry and the Good Cheer Fund, which will provide food baskets to many families before Christmas.